Hey everyone, Kevin here. Welcome back to the channel, Missouri Clark Live. So, a few days ago, you seen me do a video with yellow daffodils and food coloring. And I thought it turned out to be a pretty cool project. And like I said, it was something I learned back in grade school. So this has been a few days ago and the daffodils are still alive. And uh, I showed you in that video, know how the end product was. But today we got some fresh daffodils. And then I've also got some straight blue food coloring and I've got some straight red food coloring. Uh, went in town today and went ahead and got another pack of food coloring so it has some different colors. So I'm gonna try the straight red on about four of these and straight blue on the other four. And I'm gonna try and experiment with these that have already been dyed. So I'm gonna cut about two inches of their stock off and uh, see if maybe I can get them to change a different color also. So that'd be kind of cool to see how that turns out. So give me a minute and I'll uh, set the camera up on a tripod and we'll go through that process. It takes pretty much overnight for it all to change so they'll look like this, but these may not absorb any more food coloring, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Be right back. Okay, so I got my water and my vases. Um, I went ahead and cut a little bit more of these off on the fresh ones. And then I went ahead, like I said, on the old ones I used, I cut about two inches off their stock. So hopefully they'll still be able to absorb some of the food coloring. And the ones that are already dyed, I'm gonna go ahead and put straight blue food coloring in that water. And then I'm gonna put straight blue in this one for four of the others. And then straight red is gonna be for the other four that's in the uh, fresh ones. I'm hoping this turns out as, as good as it did on the last one. And I'm hoping the ones that were already colored will turn out good too. So we'll give that a good mixing. good mix there yeah I think it'd be really cool if the ones that already got colored and everything will go ahead and absorb some more food coloring and change again now these are the double blooming daffodils I didn't have any more of the single blooming which I think the single blooming are a little bit prettier them all in there. Oh, and I would definitely recommend putting newspaper down like I did on your countertop because when I first did this on the uh, very first video, I had a little bit of food color and get on the countertop and I thought I was never going to get wiped off. So I definitely put you some newspaper down on your countertop to help protect it from the food coloring. Okay, folks, so this will take probably uh, definitely overnight. I know the last batch did. And let's hope these here go ahead and change again, but they may be done absorbing anything from, uh, you know, being as old as they are. But I guarantee you these will definitely change. So tomorrow I will get everything out and we'll see how it turns out. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch the end of this video. So it's time to show you the end results of our little experiment with the food coloring and yellow daffodils. This is actually uh, two days later after I put the food coloring in the water for the daffodils. I decided to go ahead and give them um, another full day to absorb the full food coloring. It, I don't know, I'm a little disappointed. I thought it would turn out a little bit brighter than it did. But anyway, here's the end result. Okay, this one here was the yellow daffodil and straight red food coloring. And this is yellow daffodil with straight blue food coloring. Um, keep in mind, if these were white flowers, this would have turned out totally different. But 
evidently when you mix blue and yellow together you end up with a green result anyhow and then if you remember these are the daffodils that i'd already done some food coloring with in um, days before and they actually turn a lot darker green so they did change some uh, they're about done for though and uh, I just want to show you that they actually did absorb some more food coloring and they turned a really, really dark green. The red ones are pretty cool. I mean, that turned out um, a little bit better than I thought it would. Um, I was really disappointed with these because I thought maybe the straight blue would change them a little bit different, but I got to looking on the um, food coloring pack and it looks like yellow and blue turns out a little bit of green. So anyway, this is the end result and uh, we get some of our white blooming flowers. I will definitely go ahead and try this with totally white flowers, but the red ones are pretty. Looked kind of neat. So just something to kind of mess around with and uh, I thought it's pretty cool too since I learned it way back in grade school. So if uh, you got some little kids or just some people who like to try different things with food coloring, you got to give it a shot. White flowers will do a totally different end result. So everybody appreciate y'all coming along and checking out our videos. Anyone new to this uh, channel or comes across this video, I'd sure appreciate it if you like and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, when I get some white flowers, I'll definitely do this, and uh, it'll be a totally different end result. All right, you guys all take care, and we'll see you later.